literally quit. They quit. This isn't a thing where we just didn't. See, when I hear the players, and I love all the players, I love Cox, and I love, 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 I love Cox, and I love. Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a good Thirsty Thursday. It is crazy where we are right now. Let me say... Um, Okay, you know, payback is a bitch. That's all I got to say. It's kind of crazy where we are right now with our coaching staff. Who would have thought that the Eagles and Cowboy fans would both be rooting for the teams to fire their coaches? Uh, it, it's crazy. And Philly 500 is losing his mind. He is literally pissed off. He is going cray cray right now and um it, it, it's it, it's literally comical I, i'm i'm waiting for this to happen i fire howie fucking fire motherfucker stupid motherfucker what an idiot Cooper and Gallup, but we don't need a receiver. Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson. He's ass. He's stupid. I fire his ass. I fire his ass. I mean, how he's got to be stupid. What are you doing? You just let Dallas take him. You. You know what's crazy is Philly just texted me and the video, meltdown video that he did of me has got 90,000 views. That may be his biggest video that he's ever done. Send me the check. Just send me a check. All I want, just give me my cut. That's all I want. Because I got to be honest, a lot of people got paid off of, off of me literally melting down. All I want to hear from y'all is thank you. Okay, just say thank you. So before we start this video, I got to get this mother humping thing out of the way. Mark Holmes is my daddy. Okay, that's out of the way. Ow! Misery loves company. I just want you guys to check this out because Philly 500 is like in shock right now that Nick Sirianni's coming back. You had no idea this guy's this guy's uh, job could be possibly on the line. How how could that be? You know, I, I don't I don't understand it because the team literally quit. They quit. They quit. They quit. It, this isn't a thing. Well, we just didn't see when I hear the players and I love all the players. I love Cox and I love pause. I pause on that. Okay, I love Fletcher. Okay, pause on the love cox. Pause. I know you're gonna get me a pause. Yeah, we're gonna get. Right. We're, we're gonna but get you. Here's the thing, like, you, you just didn't, you just didn't play bad, or you know, do this or that, or you, you quit. You gave up. You, it was you done. Over completely died. done. Now, are they saying, or what they saying is, hey, it's not that oh, the coach's fault. We didn't quit on the coach. I, I, I wonder. I really wonder. Uh, I mean, it's got to be either the coordinators or the coach. Okay. Now we're getting reports that Nick Sirianni, along with Howie Roseman, are actually looking for a new coordinator jobs. <laughs> so the guy who screwed it up, Diana oh, Rossini. Okay. Uh, I love it. Oh, and it, I it's kind of it. caused a stir last, yesterday evening, right? Both Eagles GM Howie Roseman and head coach Nick Sirianni have been reaching out to available NFL coaches and coordinators, as well as coaching agents, 
across the league to evaluate potential coordinator candidates to join their coaching staff as they plan for the 2024 season. Based upon that, based upon hearing that report, it sounds like Nick Sirianni is coming back. I, 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 listen, I'm just going to keep it real. I don't understand why. I think this is... I think this could be a huge mistake. I think this could be a situation where if the players quit on him the way they quit on him this year, Mm -hmm. how long will it take for them to quit on him next year? How long? That's the question. If things go bad or if he, you know, the offense struggles early, are they going to quit on him again? Can he get the locker room back? These are all the questions I have. I don't know that he can. So, to me, I personally would move on from Nick Sirianni. Um, not because the way the season ended, not because they got tossed early, but because because of the lack of of effort by the team for the five weeks. They basically quit. They quit. And and I, when I say quit, I don't necessarily mean they refused to play or they didn't try. Well, I, I mean quit as like they you Rolled could tell subconsciously on a subconscious level oh. this team was not buying what the coaches were doing okay now if you are going to keep nick sirianni if this, this <laughs> if this is decided hey we're keeping nick sirianni well two things i got to say that one it, it it really depends on what Jalen Hurts thinks. Depends. Okay? You might and then need number to wear two, something. it depends on what coaches you get. Okay. Um, I waited all day because the, the Eagles were supposed to speak at two thirty Eastern to the media, and Jalen Hurts was not there. Jalen Hurts wasn't there for like five hours. Okay. So that that was one of the other reasons why I, I wasn't able to put a video out because it was so late by the time he talked, mm-hmm. and I'm at work. It just it just couldn't be done. Mm-hmm. But. Here's what Jalen Hurts basically said about Nick Sirianni and the team and coming back. It's owners own, coaches coach, and players play. Um, I just want to play at a high level. Um, I have a ton of confidence in Coach. I have a ton of confidence in Howie. I have a ton of confidence in Mr. Leary. Um, I have to do my job. Okay. I have to do my job and control the things that I can. I answered that question the other day, and um, I, mean, I don't know if I... Uh, you asked me something the other day um, about, and I said, uh, what did I say? I said, you, you didn't know. You didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. Like you didn't didn't know. know. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. I had no idea that was a thing. Um, <laughs> so I don't see why why that wouldn't be the case. You know, we, we plan on fixing everything that we've, we've done. That you messed um, up? Growing together. Ooh. Coach Sirianni, Brian, everyone. Oh, when you hear Jalen Hurts say that, it sounds like he wants Nick Sirianni's back. He he wants him back. He's okay <laughs> with it. Now, here here's my thing. If I really have questions about Nick Sirianni and whether he could be <laughs> the head coach going forward. I, I really do. I, I don't know that I believe it. But you know what? Oh. At the end of the day, if the players legitimately want him back, okay, and I'm not sure they do still, okay, because there's one thing to say, hey, look, this guy's a nice guy. You know, you have people at work. Hey, that's a nice guy, good guy, mm-hmm. great person, yeah, great family. Yeah, yeah. But, man, he, he doesn't do his job well. You know what I mean? I'm always having to, to pick up for him. Or I don't believe in what he's doing. Uh, those are two different things. Um, so I could see players not wanting to say something that would get a coach fired. You don't ever want somebody to lose their job or anything like that. I even hate talking about a guy losing we're, we're going to leave it right there. Now, I'm, I'm going to say that the season is a disappointment for the Cowboys, okay? Um, I thought for sure we could do better than what we did. I thought we had a good chance to win the division, which we did. We, we, we won the division um, and so on. But I will say that as bad as it was losing that game, that it could have been a lot worse – because had the Eagles won with everything that was going on, man, they would have been riding our ass all off season. All off season. So the Eagles, well, they got a slice of humble pie. So did we. So did we. We both sucked together. And I am just so happy that the Eagles have imploded. And um, 
Yeah, it's going to be an interesting offseason. Um, now <laughs> you have to be on the coaching watch for both of us uh, with um, Dan Quinn, whether or not he's coming back or if he's not. Um, who's going to be the defensive coordinator, who the Eagles are going to get for coordinators and so on. It's going to be a very busy, busy offseason, and I look forward to the challenges that are dealing with the Eagles. I'm Mark Holmes, and, well, I appreciate you guys. <sighs> oh, shit! Congratulations, Green Bay. Congratulations, Green Bay.